Okay, I'm, I'm Will Kitchen. I'm the head football coach here at Mills Godwin. Uh, Matt's been in our program uh, for three years. He's been an outstanding offensive and defensive lineman. Uh, he has um, excellent feet, um, not only moves around very, very well, he's aggressive. Uh, he um, understands offensive blocking techniques and schemes pretty well and uh, actually leads his compadres in, in terms of um, trying to promote uh, their understanding of, of schemes and such and, and has done an outstanding job for us on both sides of the ball. Uh, he has played uh, offensive guard for two years. Uh, he was a uh, spot starter as a sophomore. He was a um, uh, full-time starter last year as a junior. On defense, he's played defensive end and uh, defensive tackle and um, probably has had more success offensively than, than defensively at this point. Well, I think the reason, the reason being is that we tried to rest him last year on defense, uh, and so therefore he was not able to get as many snaps um, on the defensive side as he did, did on the offensive side. The fact that he was our best offensive lineman last year, we tried to make sure he was in the game uh, every snap that, that was possible. And while we needed him as an athlete to, to go both ways, we tried to rest him on defense. And so he got fewer snaps on that side of the ball. He has, has uh, projected as one of our strongest linemen, uh, one of our strongest uh, players on the team. We don't do testing um, until m right before school's act. And so I don't have any uh, numbers for this year in terms of bench press or vertical jump or anything at this point. Uh, but certainly we could, we could show, I think, that he would be in the top five as far as um, leading us in bench press and squats and, and uh, hang clean and things of that nature. Um, so his strength index would be, if not the best, it would certainly be in the top five on our team. Well, in, ter in terms of, of strength, um, he is, he is uh, very capable of, of uh, shedding blocks as a defensive player. He's very capable of um, uh, executing drive block as an offensive lineman. And so he has, um, he has no deficiencies in terms of, of strength and being able to match up with opponents um, in that way. Um, in fact, uh, he, ends up, he ends up matching up very well. And as I said, he's our, our best offensive lineman. Mm -hmm. um, so we put him in a position where he's pulling and leading um, on a power play or pulling and leading on a sweep. Um, we pull and trap him quite a bit because, again, he's quick. Uh, he's got good size, he's got good strength, and so that, that provides him with an advantage. Uh, he has, has good feet and, and is able to manipulate those very well so that he can, can attack opponents and, uh, and do so not only with, um, uh, with, uh, with speed but also with, with strength. He has a, um, a tremendous love for the game. He works at his craft in terms of, um, uh, as I said, learning the, the blocking schemes and being able to help his, his uh, mates uh, learn those schemes and execute those schemes. Uh, he, takes, uh, he takes the offseason very seriously and he has been uh, diligent as far as, as working to get bigger, faster, stronger. Knowledge of the game would be above average in terms of, um, I think, as I said earlier, he, he works at learning the schemes, he works at being able to, to help others with the schemes, uh, he understands um, leverage, for example, um, in, the, in the offensive line, the defensive line, low man always wins. He understands the concept of hands inside, which means that by getting his hands inside, he can get control of an opponent and therefore either be more effective as a blocker or more effective as a defensive player shedding that block and getting off to make a tackle. He does an above average job of studying film. Um, you know, during our, um, our lunch period, we have a, a lunch study and typically he's here uh, during his lunch study and or during his lunch watching game film each day, uh, learning as much as he can about the opponent that he's playing across from each week. He has a tremendous amount of heart. Um, he is a, um, an excellent leader for us, a uh, leader by example uh, most often. Uh, he's, he's a rather quiet guy in terms of, of uh, vocal uh, effort, but in terms of effort in drills, effort in the weight room, um, effort on the field, whether it's a practice field or the game field, he's, he's one of our best. Um, 
excellent young man as far as being able to work with him and he has a, has a great demeanor as far as, as uh, being cooperative and working uh, to better himself um, each day at practice or each day in, in the weight room. I think in terms of the next level he has a shot at playing a, in a Division I program. Uh, if you looked at computer, computer stats you might say that, that he um, is not quite tall enough but at the same time I think his foot speed um, his agility, his uh, knowledge of the game, and his and his uh, his love for the game could put him in a great position to be competitive at at the the D1 AA level, uh, possibly at the 1A level, depending on what school it was and 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 what they were asking him to do. Um, again, I think he's a, an offensive lineman more than a defensive lineman, um, and I think that that's where his strength lies. And certainly, uh, he would be. Um, He'd be capable of playing on both sides of the ball for somebody, but I think offensive line is probably his, his best spot. I tell the, uh, the recruiter to expect a young man who is enthusiastic, who is, um, uh, has a great work ethic, a young man who's an excellent student and not only applies himself in the, in the classroom, but applies himself on the field. Um, somebody that would be there early and stay late, and uh, somebody that would... Um, would offer everything that, that he has in terms of trying to get better every day and trying to trying to perform in practice and on the game field. Great. Playing tight hand over here. And six. Yeah.